That's a lot. Really, really dark purple. Really. That is gonna look Yoshi awesome. Yoshi Island. Man. Going in, and the downfall to this is if those stickers eventually peel off, um, you're gonna have to redye your plastic. But in my experience, they usually stay on there. So let's just cross our fingers and hope that's the case here. Item number two. And if these stickers come off, whatever they come off, it is what it is. It almost damn near took all the carbon off the top of the piston. And guys, it was thick. Um, cylinder looking real clean, real nice. Um, <laughs> it's so freaking ugly, I love it. <laughs> Let's let them soak a little more. Guys, like I said, so damn ugly. I love it. All right, guys, uh, I was beginning to wonder if that end of the handle was going to take die or not. I guess some places I actually had to get some sandpaper and scuff up before it would actually take, but if you'll hear, it is just now boiling, and what I'm trying to do is maybe try to get it to take die up there, and it looks like we've got a spot here where the sticker was at that really didn't want to take it. Um... I'd have to do something there, but it's a work in progress. I'd say she is egg planted good enough. I went ahead and unplugged the die. We're gonna let that front half that wasn't really wanting to take it just kind of sit there and soak in it all night. And you know, this one's not gonna be bad. Not gonna be bad at all. Usually they're around 40, 45 thousand. This one has 42,000 squish. Um, all right, guys, let's get some timing numbers. I've already got the degree finder dialed in, which means I actually know where the timing's at on it. So <laughs> they're on the intake port. I use a 10 thou feeler gauge, uh, if I can find it laying here. I have a little pick I've made. It's been ground down. It's super thin to, uh, check transfer ports it's just how I do it you don't have to do it that way do whatever works best for you you just want good consistent readings from saw to saw seventy one um, that's pretty hot but you know it is a wild thing cylinder so it should be hot. It's a wild thing. There was a. We got 104. 104.2 if someone wants to be. Picky about it. I'm trying to find the right word there. It doesn't sound like a prick. And. I'll just put that in there and feel for those to open. We'll call that 124. So okay. those are actually fairly hot numbers for that little saw. The sides that you see sticking out, we're just going to widen those.
That puts a real nice sheet on the sides of that. You don't have to worry about it hanging or anything. Will it flow as good as a squared off corner? Yeah. I don't know, those old oval port big block Chevy heads seem to flow awful good. opened up pretty good and ain't the prettiest thing in the world but as you can see we still have our step all it's the way across the water than we was and there's what that looks like from the inside Here's how we're gonna get our intake timing. I'm gonna put a half moon notch in the bottom of the piston there. I'm not gonna video it because I need to set and focus on doing it and get it cut straight, but I'll show you once it's done. And there we have it. Half moon notch in the piston for the intake timing. Okay, so the way the transfers feed on these is about pure garbage, really. Um, I'd pulled the pin out of the piston, but that's kind of what that looks like at bottom dead center. Um, and when everything's in the saw at bottom dead center, and I've thoroughly inspected this, and for the life of me, don't see how these things perform as well as they do. Um, I have some of them over there that run pretty good. It, you know, it's done like full tilled in between firewood saw. Uh, you guys have seen them, they run good. Um, and normally, I don't even touch the transfers much, but. And on this, I'm probably not going to either, but I'm thinking, I could just be thinking out loud, but I'm thinking we put us a couple little notches just under there, and maybe we can get a little more charge into the transfers, and maybe get just, maybe a little more upper RPM out of it, maybe a little more snappiness. I could just be overthinking things, but... I'll show you more. Port work, nothing spectacular. We widened and opened up that port. Um, raised our uppers and the intake port untouched. The intake timing was got through the piston and decided just to leave that port as is. And honestly, I've kind of decided to go a different route with the carburetor. 
Um, I'll let you guys know what I come up with, but next thing I'm gonna get this glued back into the saw. Um, what I use, Moto Seal, it's basically motorcycle engine assembly. And Until we did reach it, the numbers uh, 101, 120, and 78 is what we're looking at on the uh, final numbers. Okay, sorry to disappoint. I know I'd mentioned maybe a larger carburetor, but got the measuring around. And most of the carbs I have here up to the 46cc Polands. I will have a 15 millimeter carb. Um, I even had one of those carbs here and it was identical all the way through. So, okay, this is aggravating plastic handlebars. I don't know how well this is going to work. It's like tennis racket tape. Um, we'll just have to see. I'll show you what I come up with when it's done. And there's what it looks like. It feels awesome. Um, a lot better than what was there. It may be something to do like on a Mac 1010 handlebar. Take up some of the vibration, which we're gonna get into a full build on one of those as well. But um, I get my muffler out of the ultrasonic cleaner. I already butchered up the muffler that was on it. Um, is what it is. <laughs> muffler mod. I think that'll work guys. I think she can breathe through that just fine. Guys, there she is. Really liking how it's turning out. Not bad at all. I cut it close on that pipe. It probably will end up melting the clutch cover if I get it out and use it any more than 10 minutes or so. Yeah, really, really liking how that turned out. I do have one other little thing or two other things I'm going to do. Um, I'm gonna dig around and see if I can find a felon spike. If not, I'll probably have to order one. But the bottom of the saw didn't quite take dye everywhere. I'm not sure why. Um, the hot plate I'm using doesn't really get that hot. But Walmart had a double burner hot plate on sale for like 15 bucks. So we picked that up while we were out over the weekend. Um, I don't know if I'll video it but we're gonna i might put gopro on my head or something but i'm gonna mask that thing off after we start it um we're gonna put that on it and then let that set up several days and then i'm really thinking about laying just one or two coats of uh, automotive grade clear coat over it but what do you guys say we take it over into other shop and see if this thing will even bust off? I haven't had it running in forever before I tore it down, but I did find one of the lines. Whoever had put lines in it, um, the return line was just kind of stuck, like at the top of the tank, notched and just pushed there. So I'm not even sure how it was running as good as it was before because it had to be causing an issue, an air leak or something to where it wouldn't it had to be causing fuel issues well, guys I've got some fuel in it put another cap on it because I know that one leaked this one doesn't appear to be yet we're circulating fuel through the carb I'm pretty sure up was on on these Got her choked. Oh, we got fire. Okay, after some tinkering, I'm figuring out this thing probably wanted a bigger carburetor. Um, wants a lot of fuel. A lot of fuel. <laughs> 